Hey guys, it's your boy Weech. Uh, we're back with another video for you guys today. Uh, so we are back in BandLab, and for today's video, I actually want to cover um, this cool tool that you have. It's called Automation, and it's right up here. I'm hovering over it right now. First of all, what exactly is Automation? What can you do? Um, so for example, if we uh, Automation button, you can see that we have um, all these levels, um, and everything is set on volume for the moment, right? Let me go ahead and play this song. Um, I have it highlighted here, so it's just going to repeat this section here. <laughs> Ella se marcha después de la madrugada Dice que siempre está, luego se va con él Okay, so for me, this section sounds a little bit too loud. So um, with the use of automation, you can actually fix the volume for this section while keeping the rest of it at, at the level you want it. If I wanted to bring this down, I could click right here and then click right behind it. You added the second one, it's going to keep the rest of the track on one level while um, everything before this first one we put down um, can be changed. So this uh, portion here, I do want it to be a little bit more reverby. The uh, next automation that I'm going to do, and if you uh, you know click this uh, drop down list here, you can actually click um, for all the effects I have on here. So I have delays, I have my, my reverb space maker, you know, the BL driver, EQs, noise gate. So, and you have different options. You can pan stuff left and right. Um, if you want EQ levels to change on a certain, you know, on a certain level, you can move all that yourself, you know. So right now, I actually just want to work on the Space Maker mix. We put down two points. The second one we leave alone, and then the first one we mess with. So I think I want like 17. So we brought the volume down, and then we also brought the uh, the uh, the Space Maker uh, mix percentage up as well. So, and I think that I want to do the same thing here. I'm gonna put my first one at the end of this verse, and my second one right next to it and i'm going to raise it up to kind of how i did before so like maybe just 20. um and as you can see i don't have any more uh verse for the rest of the song so you don't have to put down a second point i feel like for this track automation is done i believe you can't use automation on your mobile app i think this is something that you can only do on the desktop because I, I think that I've tried to go on my phone and do this before so before um, I end this video I actually want to show you guys something else if I want to fix the volume um, it actually tells me that I need to go on the automation to fix it I'm not able to to mess with this anymore you actually have to uh, go down to the automation um, and make changes there so if I wanted to change the volume for the whole track I could either do it the way I just showed you guys or I could do it by taking these down and you just take these down by clicking on it twice again so click double click to put it on and then double click to take it off um, that I can't I can't see um, I can't me I can't mess with the mix uh, it says that I have to click to audit automation and if I click it it shows me what I've done with automation so that's just another thing to keep in mind if I have this this extra slot here and I wanted to add ad libs um, I could then uh, use the pan option to uh, make it to where maybe the first thing you heard is going to be you know shot over to your right ear and then this next part coming up is going to be shot to your left ear i mean you could you know you could do things like that automation can be a little bit tedious if you have never done it before but once you get the hang of it i think it saves you some time in the long run because uh without automation if i wanted this section uh the way i wanted it i would maybe have to um add another track on here change it uh put the effects over um, and then do the desired effect. Um, so it's very nice that I can just uh, keep it all on one uh, on one vocal chain. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you guys like this, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.